The importance of complying with public health guidance to safeguard the most vulnerable in society and to protect our public services has been paramount for the last two years. In that time, so many of us have made sacrifices, not seeing loved ones and not visiting those in crisis. But the level of solidarity shown by the public in following guidance and laws has been impressive. It is therefore absolutely sickening that once again it appears that the Prime Minister and his inner circle have ignored the rules and tried to cover it up. This is undermining public confidence in following health advice. The public feels betrayed and the Prime Minister must go. Does the First Minister agree and what can we do to retain public confidence in current measures? Before, before the First Minister responds very briefly to Ms Mackay's question, can I just emphasise to Ms Mackay that questions must focus on issues of devolved competence? Thank you. First Minister, very uh, pu briefly. Public health and the protection of public health is very much a devolved competence, uh, in my view, presiding officer. Um, and it is the case uh, that uh, people across the country are aghast at the revelations uh, about Downing Street's conduct. It appears not just one uh, isolated breach, but serial breaches of guidance that people were following uh, through painful sacrifices uh, right throughout uh, this pandemic. And a Prime Minister who uh, apparently uh, is not being truthful about his knowledge uh, of these matters. Uh, I don't think it will surprise anybody to hear my view that the office of Prime Minister would be greatly enhanced by Boris Johnson's departure from it. But more importantly, I think at this moment in time, the interests of the United Kingdom would be enhanced by that as well.